Hello folks, Donnie Gladfelter from The CAD Geek. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at ways you can more easily manage layers inside of the Layer Properties Manager by using Quick Filters. And so first things first, we need to open up the Layer Properties Manager, and the way we'll do that is by navigating to the Home tab, Layers panel, and click on to Layer Properties. Alternatively, I could of course enter Layer or LA to open up the Layer Properties Manager. However, I did here, I'll be presented with a complete list of layers inside of this particular drawing. Now, a pretty common layer manipulation task that we need to do is change the properties of all layers of a certain type. So let's say all of the hatch or pattern layers in this particular drawing. Now, one way I could approach this is by locating each of the pattern layers individually inside of this master layer list. But as you can see, these pattern layers are scattered throughout my layer list. And so rather than picking these out one by one, we can use quick filters to find just the pattern layers and simplify the list to only display those layers. And so the way we'll do that is by shifting our attention here to the upper right hand corner of the layer properties manager, where we're able to define one of these quick filters. So by clicking into this text box, you'll notice that first I have a cursor with a asterisk. And you might wonder what the asterisk is all about. Well, this is going to serve as a wildcard character, or in other words, it's going to match any character outside of whatever I type into this box. So let's say we're looking for all of our pattern layers. I'm going to start this search with an asterisk as well, because I want to find anything that contains the code PATT before or after. And so what I'm going to do is, with the asterisk typed in right there, I'm going to type in P-A-T-T. -T, and you'll notice that in real time, AutoCAD updates my layer list to only display the layers whose names include P-A-T-T. -T. Now, as you'll notice, most of the pattern layers in this particular drawing relate to elevations. However, I do have this one layer that is not an elevation hatch layer. Now, if I wanted to further define or further refine this particular filter, I could do so. I'm going to move my cursor to the very beginning here and type in another asterisk and basically stack these wildcards. And I'm going to type in ELEV. So what I'm doing now is I'm searching for any and every layer inside of this drawing that contains ELEV and PATT. Now, the way I've stacked up these asterisks or wildcards it doesn't matter at what point of the layer name these codes um, are shown, it will always find any layer that has ELEV and PATT included in their names. And so from here, I could select all of these layers and make whatever manipulation I wanted to do. Maybe I wanted to thaw these layers, so I'll go ahead and click on that column. And of course, all of the elevation hatch layers are now thawed. So there you have it, a very quick tip on ways that you can more easily manage layers inside of AutoCAD using quick filters. Once again, my name is Donnie Gladfelter. You can get many more tips and tricks just like this one at thecadgeek.com.